Hey everybody, my name is Val and I'm here to show you my version of how to pack light. My husband and I have been traveling around the world to many different countries for many years and we've finally gotten it down to where I can get for three weeks or more trip, I can get it all into this size of a bag. This is a 17 inch, it's actually 16 and a half here, 12 by nine. And this is an It Girl brand. I don't think they make these anymore. So just, if you're interested in something like this, just search on Amazon or in Google, 17 inch under cedar carry on, and it'll come up something like this. Uh, this one's nice because the outer pocket holds my iPad Air. It has, you know, some zippers in here and then just basically nothing inside. Very lightweight. Lightweight is key. So, um, let's get started about how we do this. Uh, Bob and I are going to be leaving on a trip tomorrow to Europe. We'll be gone three weeks. We're going to see five different sets of people in five countries, all the way from Norway in the north down to Greece in the south. So we've got quite a few weather patterns to be packing for here. So let me show you how I do it. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I have um, three basic tips for the clothing you need to take. One, make sure that you have no more than two bottoms. That can be jeggings, it can be skirt. I would not take real jeans. They're too big. So two bottoms and then anywhere from five to seven tops. Included in that would be a lightweight sweater. I don't include a, an outerwear in that. But what you want to have is, so that's my rule. The second tip is thin fabric. Stuff that you can layer. And the reason you want thin, like viscose, nylon, polyester, some of that stuff that's just thin and lightweight. It is lightweight. But also you're going to be doing your laundry in hotel sinks because most places don't have a laundromat attached, except for Japan. When we go to Japan, most hotels have their own little laundry place preloaded with soap. It's amazing. You just throw it in there and it pops out dry. But Europe, Central Asia, some of those places not. So you have to learn how to do your laundry in the hotel sink. You can use hotel shampoo, works fine. Hotel soap, whatever. So what I do with clothes, are those five to six tops, and my two bottoms every now and then is you just wash them out in the sink, rinse them, wring them, and then I throw them out on a towel, roll up the towel and squeeze out the extra water, and then just hang the thing. Hang your stuff, and it'll dry by the next day. So that's all you need to do. That's why you don't need to take tons of clothes. Um, and ladies, this is for women, so guys, turn it off. This is more of a women's thing. Um, one bra. I wear it. If I need to wash it out, I do it at night, and I don't wear it to bed. So why would I take two, you know? Um, so, and then the third tip is that everything has to match its everything. So every both bottoms go with all my tops. So then you don't get as bored, you know, and you're getting maximum use out of everything. Um, another tip is you have to make sure that everything in your bag is going to be used. If you're a packer that is kind of like, well, I might need this. I guess I'll throw it in. Let me take this. If that's your mentality, you will never be a light packer. <laughs> and that's okay. Maybe you want a big suitcase with all the just-in-case stuff. That's fine. That's You can do that, of course. I don't like that because I don't like to schlep a heavy bag up and down stairs going into train stations and subways. Not Yeah, I just... Mm -mm. So everything in my bag, every square quarter ounce of anything is used... And that's why I've got it narrowed down to just exactly what I need. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of some rules of thumb for what you're going to be taking for clothes. Make sure they're wash outable in the hotel. Make sure they all go with each other. Make sure they're thin fabrics. And don't take anything more than you need. Okay, so a couple other things that I've discovered that really help. I only take about five pairs of underwear because these things are great. Um... I don't keep them in the pack that takes up too much room. I just open it up and throw them into my suitcase. But these panty liner things, put them on, wear them for a day, and then you throw that out and you have basically a fresh pair of underwear. So that helps. Another thing I found that I love are these 
shout wipe and goes and these things are in a little pouch you can there again just throw them into your suitcase and this really cuts down on the laundry if you just spill your coffee like i do <laughs> Carry some of these in your purse because you might need to just like on the go, get rid of that stain. Very helpful. Um, adapters, we have an ingenious little adapter here that I don't think they make anymore. Um, you just, this is the British plug, has USBs. This is the one that works for the US. Um, oh, this is not British. I'm sorry. This is Europe. There's another one with the prongs for Britain. Anyway, go to Amazon and just look for packable, small travel adapter. And you can get them for Europe and the U.S. You can get them for international, for all over the world. And those things are fine. Then you just plug it in and keep yourself charged. Okay, another thing that I do. This is my traveling drugstore. This was just a pouch that some airplane gave me years and years ago. It's very old. But in here, I keep all of my, like, Aleve, I've got um, ibuprofen, Tylenol. Um, I think there's some, like, laxatives in there. Cough drops, Neosporin. And here again, you just toss that in the bottom of the bag. It doesn't take up much room. You don't need all those bottles. You know, you just learn which pill is which. Tylenol is blue and red. You know, and Aleve is always light blue. So you just save room. Okay, um, if you want to take extra shoes, which I often do, I won't on this trip, but get something little, like little flats. And this kind of a thing, these are Anne Klein, but you can just slide them along the, the walls of the suitcase. And then in here, you can put your drugstore. Just fold it up and smack it in there. Or a hairbrush or something. You're, you're going to use every little centimeter of space you can find. So this, if you want to take an extra pair of shoes, they have to be little. I've tried it with sneakers and it's really, you can do it if you pack carefully, but yeah, I'd take smaller shoes if that's your thing. Usually I wear ankle boots and then take something like that if we need it. Okay, and then for curly girls like me, if you need a diffuser for your hair, don't take your big old fat plastic diffuser. What you get is this thing, hot sock. I don't know if that's backward. Hot sock just fits on the end of any hair dryer I've ever seen. And it does a really decent job of diffusing because the hot stuff comes out of here and you just dry your hair. So that packs anywhere. That can go into your shoes if you need to. Okay, next, um, toiletries. Okay. I found this company that makes these. It's Borsali, B-O-R-S-A-L-I. And they come two to a pack for $12.99 on Amazon. These things, each one is exactly one quart. And I've measured it exact. So I take them both. I have one for my dry stuff. You know, like brush and comb and toothbrush and mirror and that. And then this one is the wet stuff. And, um, you know, we're TSA pre. Probably a lot of you guys are. And you don't even need to worry about taking this out. But if, if you're on Swiss Air, they really look... <laughs> I've had them take everything out and put it into a bag that's a quart to make sure, you know, they're kind of, some of the countries are stickier than others. So um, make sure you don't take more because then they'll make you throw it out, you know. That's why I love these bags. They're perfect. Okay, so I just went on Amazon and got things like this little spray thing for like mousse. Um, the best shampoo and conditioner bottles I've found are these. This is actually taken out of a condo we stayed at, these little tiny palm olive dishwashing soap that they have inside the, the condo or some of the Airbnbs have this stuff. These are great because they do not leak. So I put conditioner, shampoo in one. I have all my little hair junk. Um, these things are great. They're little for creams and stuff. This is the brand um, B-A-R-I-H-O, Berry Ho. But these, they come three or six in a pack or something. Very, very, they don't bend a link. They're great. So lotion, stuff like that. Toiletries. Okay, now um, getting down to what I wear for pajamas. Okay, this is a pair of like super thin, um, really tight <laughs> but comfortable leggings. They're Capri leggings. And I sleep in these. I usually don't wear them. 
but I could if I needed to. And then this is uh, an ultra thin base layer, kind of a turtleneck that I wear at night. This is actually a Uniqlo, Uniqlo is Japanese brand, U-N-I-Q-L-O. They have base layer stuff and a lot of packable down. They're great because the ja it's a Japanese company and Japanese like to make things small and compact. So there you go. But this thing I can wear at night, keeps me warm. Or if we run into cold weather, I can wear it during the day, layer it under another top. So it does double duty. I love that. Okay, so this is pajamas. Um, and then we're getting into packing cubes here. I use one of these. It's called Bag Lane brand. Um, and this is for underwear. I put underwear, one pair of these, you know, like in lieu of socks. I throw all my little panty liners in there. And then I just pack the capri leggings and the base layer top in here. And then I just zip it up. So this is the thing that kind of gets squashed into the bag with all my underwear and my night stuff. Okay, are we having fun? Okay, here we are again. I'm gonna show you um, now what I'm taking tomorrow for this trip. Um, let me show you here. We have blue and white top. That's my jacket, nice and bright. I love Zara, that's where it's from. Um, this is a linen skirt that I'm going to wear with tights and I am not packing my tights because I'm wearing them and I'm going to wear these shoes Adidas comfortable look a little funny with a skirt but I don't care now I'm going to show you how it all goes together oh wait let's see I do have my six tops I have six tops in here with a windbreaker as well as a short cropped um, little sweater that I can layer with that jacket if I need to and stay warm. Okay, so this is what the suitcase looks like when I'm just starting. Okay, I'm not taking these shoes tomorrow, but just to show you what it's like. So you put the shoes with their drugstore inside of them or whatever. This is the hot sock shoe. And then you, uh, and these shout things. So those kind of go on the bottom. Then I have to add a tankini because we're going to be on a Greek island for a little bit. And then here's the here's the bottoms to the tanky. And I just stick those in there because they're going to get squashed down. And then we take our folding, what do we call this? Folding garment packing sleeve or packing cube. And again, this is um, Eagle Creek makes them now I saw on Amazon. So we kind of stick that in there and force it in there. You notice because of the Velcro, you can get that thing pretty tiny and then you get all your clothes in there. So it's helpful. Here is the underwear plus nightwear thing. And there again, you can just smack it in, poke it in there. All right, now we're ready for toiletries. For the wet bag and the dry stuff. And I have this. This is um, a little bit of makeup. I don't wear a lot, so. Just give that a little bit of room. Okay, and then over here, I put my chargers in this thing. This is nice because then, you know, without having to check a bag, you always have everything with you. You don't have to worry about losing it, as we have all experienced. Airlines losing our check baggage, that's a pain. I put a mask in here just in case horrors. We end up facing COVID junk again on this next trip. Okay, so that's it. Um, and here is my iPad Air. And then this thing, I mean, I actually have room. So I can actually go shopping. Ha. All right, so that's it. That's how I pack for three weeks in a 17-inch carry-on. And um, as you do it, just remember, a light packer is a happy traveler. Ha. Okay, happy traveling. Thanks, bye-bye.